Hey guys, Chrono16 here. I'm having to re-release this uh, Comet Ice and Update video due to some conflict of information that I released in the first video earlier today that was completely incorrect. Now, for some reason, back on August 6th, 2013 at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Space.com released this news story saying that NASA will start turning a bunch of probes on Comet Ison beginning on August 20th when the comet makes its closest approach to the red planet. Now the original data that NASA released to the public states that Comet Ison will be making its closest approach to Mars on October 1st but for some bizarre reason in this story right here on screen as you can see they're saying that all these probes are going to start looking at Comet Ison on August 20th when the comet makes its closest approach. Now that's what the video that I uploaded earlier was based off of, of this information in this news story. I don't know why the conflict is there. It's very possible that <laughs> we all know NASA lies uh, and that they have their dates mixed up and released the wrong date to space.com or they released the wrong date to us either way this is a very bizarre story because it has conflicting dates on when comet Ison approaches Mars at its closest point now in this video we're going to assume that the first information that they gave us is right and base the rest of the information of this video off of the data that they originally released to the public. Okay, so we jump ahead to October 1st now. It's where we have eyes on the solar system set to October 1st, 2013. As ISIN, according to NASA, closes in on uh, Mars at its closest ap uh, approach, the MRO space probe orbiting Mars will then snap some pictures and video of ISIN as it uh, closes in on Mars and passes by on that day. Also, Mars rover's Curiosity and Opportunity will try to take photos of Comet Ison as it appears in the Martian sky. They're not certain how those pictures are going to come out as far as the uh, rovers on the ground, but we do know that the MRO space probe has a high resolution camera and can take some pretty darn good pictures of Comet Ison as it closes in on Mars on October 1st, 2013, according to NASA. Now we're over at Mercury, guys, looking at the Messenger uh, space probe that orbits Mercury and uh, Comet Ison closing in on, on the sun. We've went ahead and jumped up to November 28th, 2013, and according to this information here, the Messenger probe orbiting Mercury will also turn its cameras toward Ison on no uh, well actually they don't even give a date as to when the messenger will actually be taking information photos pictures video of Comet Ison they don't have a date but I'm assuming that on the 28th as Comet Ison closes in on the Sun they will then begin taking their information of Comet Ison uh, as it makes its closest approach to the Sun and let's take a look at the space probe messenger as it uh, orbits the planet Mercury. Now in addition to that guys also NASA SOHO, uh, STEREO and SDO probes will also turn their cameras on Comet Ison as it closes in on the Sun on November 28th uh, as you can see in the background there and this is set again to November 28th and there's the STEREO behind space probe. All these space probes that I just mentioned SOHO, STEREO, SDO, the Solar Dynamics Observatory, uh, will all be taking pictures and video of ISIN as it closes in on the Sun on November 28th. So it should be a very interesting time. Now, in addition to those space probes, space telescopes uh, will also be turning their cameras on ISIN. Uh, NASA's SWIFT satellite will photograph ISIN in the gamma ray light while the Spitzer Space Telescope will observe an infrared light and the Chandra Observatory will look in the X-rays spectrum. 
So it should be very interesting, guys, if this information is correct that they're releasing to the public. And if the comet holds together as it uh, closes in on the sun uh, on the 28th of November, or actually as it even if it even holds together at all before it even reaches the sun, it should be some very interesting times, guys, as the comet icing closes in on the sun on November 28th and as I mentioned in that first video guys that I uploaded earlier uh, someone asked me do I think Comet Ison is a distraction yes I do think Comet Ison is a distraction I also think that Comet Ison is a harbinger of things that are to come here on earth anyway guys thanks for watching if any more information does come out I will check it twice if you guys have any information that we haven't covered here that has uh, been checked out and, and proven to be true, please uh, contact us and we'll see what we can do about getting up here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. God bless.